Hey guys, Mr. Malego here. Um, so I've had a lot of requests in the survey from last week um, to actually do a demonstration live for an assignment. So I'm going to try it. If you like it this week, message me that you like it and you want me to keep going. If I don't really get any messages, I'm just going to go back to the old ways. So uh, two weeks ago, we learned the upper male torso. The weeks before that, we learned the head. And now we're going down to the lower male torso. Uh, some things to keep in mind is, you know, you're going to be doing this three times. Uh, what I'm going to do here, you're going to do it three times and turn it into me. Three times. No more, no less. Um, you're going to be doing it in its completion. So I'm going to start here with the head. And what I'm doing, I'm just going around several times. Till I feel like it's a good upside down egg shape. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm gonna do my lollipop here. My head lollipop. Might as well bring that all the way up to the top. Halfway down between the top of the head and the bottom of the head, that's where the eyes go. Halfway between the eyes and the chin, that's where the nose goes. Halfway between the nose and the the chin is where the mouth goes. Okay, let's throw some ears on there. Alright, nothing too crazily detailed. Alright, I do not have an eraser, so I won't be able to erase for this. So you'll see a lot of like weird scratchy marks. You know, hopefully you're okay with it. Alright, I'm going to shape out that chin a little bit more. It's not perfect, but that's okay. It doesn't need to be. Now, I'm going to do the opposite of what I did last week. We're going to go outward a little bit for the neck. All right. Now, we're doing the torso, the upper male torso, just like before. So we're going to go down here for those lats. And what I like to do when I'm doing the whole torso is I like to block everything off. So you'll see me like make little building blocks like this. And this is very similar to um, like action figures. I, I try to think of like the posable parts on like some of those expensive action figures. Um, let me see if I can find an example. One sec. This is completely unedited by the way. Okay, I'm back. So here's a great example. Here we've got this like Hulk figure. Let me take this light away so you guys can see that a little bit better. But you can see how like the torso, the upper male torso is all like a single piece. And then you have this separator here for the lower male torso. Action figures are a great way to learn how to draw because it kind of breaks the body into chunks for you. It's like learning and drawing from statues. Let me hook up my uh, light here. Okay, so we're doing just that. I'm, I'm separating that torso into two different pieces. I'm gonna get my shoulders, just like how I drew them last week, or two weeks ago, rather. All right. Gonna get that collarbone in there. Remember, not letting them touch. Then, lower pecs. Remember they tuck up and into the shoulder. Okay, just like before. We're gonna keep this little separator line. All right, look at that. Already, just putting some side marks here. We've got that upper male torso built. It's looking pretty good. So some things to um, 
to, to think about and keep in mind. Remember I said in previous weeks, the body is all like interwoven. Each muscle is like a chain. It all like links together. It, it, it all combines together into one like linked thing that feeds off each other. If one part gives, the other one takes. Um, the, the lower torso area or the abdominal area is the same way. So you have this like part where the lower torso definitely pivots um, and this whole abdominal area right here, you'll see me circle this out. Think of it as like one linked thing. So the other side of this chain, think of it as like the back. The, the back is the other side of this chain. Now, these all lead into each other. And so now that I have this circle here, I can, I can kind of gauge where to place my abs. Now, a lot of times when you're a young artist, you do this with your abs. You do, and there, there's like no connection or anything. Uh, we can start out by doing that. So we'll, we'll fill this general area with these. And then so I'm gonna use my lines. It's got a six pack. Oh, snap. I'm gonna use my lines to kind of fill it in and connect with the other parts. So this part of the ab connects with this part of uh, that like side lower torso area. And everything's kind of interwoven. So I'm gonna go out here and this Everything's interwoven like, think of it like a, like a pile of bricks. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. Now usually with even superheroes and, and like huge, like hugely built Olympic size athletes, you usually don't see these. Uh, you might see them closer to the abs, but most of the time they're not there. Um, let's see if I can get lucky enough to find an eraser. And I cannot. Um, so yeah, they're they're usually not visible, but we're gonna we're gonna leave them there and we're gonna darken these lines right here. And the reason why we're drawing this out, normally we wouldn't have all of these lines. You might want to erase a couple of these here and here. And definitely erase this. But normally, you know, we, we wouldn't have those things and we would just like leave in the key lines that let us know like the abs are there. All right, they, these all go down and eventually uh, leak down into the groin the groin area, which we'll talk about that next week, the, the groin area and the legs and how to draw those. So I now have my lower torso area. You want to make sure that the, the curve that goes off here in the lower torso area is, is like this, okay, for, for males. For females, it's totally different. Uh, which I'll touch on in a later lesson. But for males, like the male torso goes in like this from the upper body and doesn't go back out. It just kind of stays straight down. Okay, so if you are lucky enough to have an eraser, which for some reason in my own home I am not lucky enough, um, go ahead and erase some of these lines, but it's it, a good habit to draw them in there until you get used to where to place things. All right, so once we've got our, our abs in there, I'm gonna come back in here, I'm gonna finish the face. Okay, so uh, notice I'm putting three eyes on eye in the middle and then the same eyes on the side. You wanna erase this middle eye. We're gonna draw our eyes in. Do a nice, perfectly proportioned face. Let's put our eyebrows up here. Put our nose here. Got some cheekbones. Okay, that's looking good. All right. 
So you're going to do the entire face, the upper torso and the lower, lower torso three times and then turn this into me. Okay, so how many times? Three times. All right, so the, the point of you doing it three times is to practice and build muscle memory and get you used to drawing it. If you just draw it once, you're gonna fail and it's not really gonna work out. Also, I'm gonna say this, the person with the best, with the best grade this quarter, if you get the highest grade in my class for your class this quarter, I'll have something special for you. Um, it's gonna be nerdy stuff because I'm a nerdy guy myself. So it'll be stuff like this guy. This guy will be one of the things I'll be giving away from, uh, the, he's one of the action figures from the new Marvel Avengers game. I got a bunch of other stuff, but that's for my in-class and my online people. If you have the highest grade in your class, um, I'm gonna be hooking you up with some free nerd gear. Uh, I have everything from crazy shirts and socks and all kinds of like action figures and little statues. Um, I think I even have some Dragon Ball Z stuff to give away. So get your grades up, let's get you out there, let's practice the upper torso and the face once again with the lower male torso. Let's do it three times and uh, turn it in by Monday. So thank you guys, and um, I will hear from you next week. Good luck.